talk about. He's quite poor. Hello and welcome to my channel, my name is Ian and this channel is all about music and art. And in this video I wanted to explain how I managed to get the dual monitors working on a new Mac Mini M1. So if you didn't know there have been a few issues with the new Apple M1 silicon chips and having multiple displays. The M1 Mac Mini will allow dual monitoring but it didn't quite work as I expected Although my understanding is that the M1 MacBook Pros and the MacBook Air have bigger issues, but we'll come back to those. First of all, when you have a look at the M1 Mac Mini, we have one HDMI port and two Thunderbolt 4 stroke USB-C ports, so it should be fairly easy. Now, the two monitors that I have are HP Elite Display E231s, which I bought a couple of years ago, so they're not that expensive and they won't support 4K but that doesn't bother me. These monitors also don't have an HDMI input. The monitors support VGA analog, DVI digital and DisplayPort digital inputs. So, and if you don't know, so which is the best thing to use? So HDMI is always the first choice because it can transmit video and audio data. The next best choice after that is DisplayPort, which can handle 4K, but it only handles video and it doesn't handle any audio. After that, the choice would be DVI, which is capable of 144Hz refresh rates. So it's a good choice if you have a 1080p 144Hz monitor. This is especially good for gamers who have an FPS that is higher than 60. And then if all else fails, you can use a VGA. So my choice is to use the DisplayPort option and on the first monitor I used the DisplayPort adapter to HDMI cable which worked perfectly well. In fact it's what I used on my old 2014 Mac Mini. The second monitor was a bit more of a challenge. I did quite a bit of research and there was quite a bit of conflicting information out there. It might be different for 4K monitors but I'm running 1080p. But what worked for me was a USB-C to display port cable that I bought from Amazon for 12 quid. Came in this little box. And while I was at it, I bought a display port to HDMI cable, which is this one. Thinking that this would replace the adapter that I had on monitor one. Having said that, this display port to HDMI just didn't work. So this thing is going back. Not sure if it's faulty or a quirk with the M1 Mac Mini and the monitors, but anyway, it just doesn't work. So not everything works as you always expect them to really. It's also worth mentioning that if you have an M1 MacBook Pro or the M1 MacBook Air, that there isn't a second monitor option. And the only solution I've found is to use something called DisplayLink docking stations which seem to be expensive. I've put a link down below in a, to a video that I found that describes exactly what you need to do if that's what you've got. So that completes this M1 Mac Mini display issue video and I'll be shortly posting a video about all the issues that I've had with music production with the new Mac, M1 Mac Mini. So if you find this interesting, just ding that little bell so you know when I'll be posting new content. And it would be great if you consider subscribing. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, and I'll see you next time. Cheers now. Bye bye.